project came about uh, with our intention to want to uh, gain more public awareness to the dangers of Arctic drilling. We got a really great deal on a lot of production equipment and with the help of many students and our creative and technical team, we've managed to give more than we could if we were just donating money alone. On this project we've worked both with our in-house animation team and with five different universities with both postgraduate and undergraduate students and that's made it interesting in, a, in its own special way. It's been great to work with loads of new people who are really excited and enthusiastic about the project but it's also been quite challenging because in lots of cases they may never have worked with this kind of resolution before. A friend's house is a brilliant example of a very nice structured symmetrical building so it was ideal uh, platform in which to do the project with. I Heart the Arctic, it's a global campaign that Greenpeace are running. Greenpeace people all around the world will be coming out to tell people about the Arctic campaign to get them kind of revved up, get them on board, get them to do something, get them to become defenders of the Arctic. which is going to be an incredible light show um, themed around the I Love the Arctic idea and we'll have a kind of choreographed heart made up of people. The children are learning as they're taking part in the flash mob about the issues about the the situation and they are becoming passionate about it as they work with their families. I'm hoping that they they see a very clear message that we need to all stand together, we should do it quickly and that everybody needs to understand that something needs to be done. Our campaign really is about not drawing a line in the sand, but drawing a line in the ice and saying, if we're really going to cross this line and we really are going to go to the farthest reaches of the planet to industrialise and despoil it, then we're finished as a species. The Arctic ice sheet at the top of the world is disappearing fast hit by rising temperatures from the burning of fossil fuels. Instead of investing in alternative energy, some countries and big oil corporations are risking everything to get their hands on even more oil. Greenpeace has brought together nearly three million people from across the world to draw a line in the ice and call for a global sanctuary around the North Pole.